how the Baja earthquake may be affecting you for weeks to come. And why Eller College of Management says you should keep your eyes on your own paper. All this and Alex Budish with your update on Wildcat Sports. It's Tuesday, April 6th, and your Daily Dose starts now. Good evening, Arizona. I'm Maddie Rundin. And I'm Kendra Countryman. The earthquake that shook Baja, California on Sunday has now produced 500 aftershocks. The 7.2 the 7.2 magnitude quake was felt in Southern California as well as in Phoenix. This quake was the third most powerful quake to hit the Americas this year. There was a 7-point quake in Haiti and an 8.81 in Chile. Fortunately, only three people have been found dead due to this quake compared to the 300,000 lives claimed in Haiti and 450 lives in Chile. Geologists say that the area of Baja, California will be left shaking for weeks as the earth and its tectonic plates settle into place. It was a pretty big earthquake. Yeah, I mean, did you I feel it? I did, actually, oh, I here in Tucson. It. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know someone that has cheated on a paper or exam? Well, Eller College of Man Management has come up with a new online program that allows students who witness someone cheating to report the incident. The Good Cat Hotline is a new website designed for students to fill out a form reporting incidents of cheating. Part of the reasoning behind Eller creating this new website is to teach good ethics to students. The creators of the website believe it will form good ethical habits in the future. The site was designed with the input of about 40 Eller students who fill out, uh, 40 Eller students who fill out the form and they can either state their name or remain anonymous. Some students believe this will increase the incidence of people tattling on others while other students believe it will help curb cheating in the university. I feel like that website's going to cause a lot of fights. Uh, yeah, I believe so too. <laughs> We'll be right back, but stay tuned for your update on Wildcat Sports. 